Let me share with you why Zaharan's group, the other networks that were IS had ceded couldn't be monitored. One is when the new government came in 2015, they removed the roadblocks, the checkpoints. They should have never done that. Next is, the military was told to go to the barracks. It's a fatal mistake. The interaction between the nation's army that saved this nation and the ordinary people was lost. It may be something the Western countries wanted. It may be something the minority political parties wanted. Maybe they, what the TNA wanted. But these are mistakes that we should have never made. I also want to tell you that a very senior and a very able Sri Lankan military officer who was a Muslim, who had the deepest expertise on Zaharan's group, he was sent overseas. I also want to tell you that 500 military intelligence officers were either arrested or they were fingerprinted and their photographs taken. And the operating wing of the military intelligence corps, which is a very large organization of about 5,000 operatives, it was demobilized. The indomitable spirit that must be inculcated in the hearts and the minds of those who serve the national security sector, whether they are military, law enforcement or intelligence, that steadfastly eroded. It was a failure of collective leadership because in national security you have to constantly generate intelligence and others have to act on that intelligence immediately. It's a crime to have intelligence and not act. The Easter Sunday attacks was not a failure of intelligence. It's an operational failure, a failure to act. That demonstrated the national security machinery of this great nation that had fought a terrorist campaign for 27 years, was rendered impotent, it was no longer capable of detecting and neutralizing threats because politicians played with security and security was compromised. I have to tell you the truth and I have told you the truth. This is a Buddhist nation. You must not say this is not a Buddhist nation. It is under a Buddhist nation that the Christians have flourished, that the Muslims have flourished. I saw some minister making a statement recently and I was disappointed at the time he made that statement because that would have angered the Buddhists even more. Our constitution can say anything, but this is a Buddhist nation. Asian Mirror.